welcome to etenergyworld.com with India on track to achieve its renewable energy targets. Longi Solar, the largest supplier of solar panels globally, has been instrumental in serving the country's need for reliable, affordable and innovative solar panels. In India, the company has been present for more than five years and has now consolidated its position as the largest exporter with the highest market share. Today, we have with us Mr. Pradeep Kumar, MD, Longi Solar India. Pradeep is a dynamic leader and one of the solar industry's top emerging talents. He is specifically credited with turning around businesses through robust decision making and thoughtful strategy. In his present role, he works as the managing director for Longi Solar India and has been instrumental in shaping Longi's business in the country with his astute leadership. From being in 17th position in 2019, Tongi Solar has now emerged as the undisputed market leader in the country with over 25% share for the last two years. Pradeep is awarded many accolades for his stellar leadership like the Best Director Award, Director's Special Award, Star of the Leaders, Upcoming Talent, Star of Sales Team and many other throughout his corporate journey. Welcome Pradeep. Thank you so much for the warm The welcome. company is doing exceptionally well globally and in India. What do you attribute your key reasons for the success in Indian market? So, yes, for any company, what we believe is there are three to four major factors which will differentiate uh, them from being a general company to a being a leadership company. So we believe these are the four, three to four important factors. First and foremost thing is the technology. Well, we have been focusing a lot in terms of technology because uh, there is a huge investment happening every year. We have an abundant team which works on all possible technologies for improvement in solar modules, solar wafers, solar cells, etc. Last year itself, we have invested around 0.7 US billion dollars, which is a huge number, which almost reaches around 5 to 6% of our operating revenue which essentially means technology is something which we have been believing in that that will create a lot of better investments in the future and that is something which will give you a better LCI for the project. So this is a first, first and foremost thing. I think we believe this is very important as well. Secondly, the availability because with the kind of market we have seen, all the developed countries or the developing countries are focusing more on solar, which essentially means the demand is increasing year on year. Now, off late we have seen Latin American market or even the European market has picked up really well, even after the COVID or even despite having the war issues between Russia and Ukraine. We have seen that the European market has picked up really well, which essentially means the demand for solar is always increasing. So having the best in terms of availability also gives us an edge. For example, we have a capacity of almost 105 gigawatt for wafers manufacturing. We have around 38 plus gigawatt of cell manufacturing capacity, which we generally use for our own projects, our own products. And then we do have around 65 plus gigawatt of operational capacity for modules. Now, this is something which should give a good confidence for any of the player, because that is something which everyone is looking at right now. Thirdly, I think it is the reliability, because Reliability of any kind of a module manufacturer is very important for this industry. The main reason being the project is supposed to run for 25 years and modules being the major part or the major cost of the entire project. I think a company who is not reliable might not be on a race. As simple as that. Longi has been known as the most or the best bankable company in the world. The only company having a AAA rating. And uh, we will further continue to strengthen it in terms of the profits, in terms of the business, because we believe in simple values and we just follow it. Now, any module manufacturer with all three to four important parameters, I think that's something is a natural cause for maintaining the leadership position. But if you ask me specifically about India, I think having an Indian touch with a local Indian team, an established local Indian team, and having a focused approach for our key customers is what makes a big difference. Uh, so how does the company differentiate itself from the intense competition in the Indian market? Yeah. So Longi has been known as one of the most expensive modules in the industry, but how the major developers are uh, accepting us for a large scale. So it's very essential for us to educate them 
that it's majorly the LCOE or the other parameters of the project which will give, give an edge. It's not just about the cost. So since we have a localized team, the approach from the beginning was very clear that we work with limited customers, like every key account manager works not more than with one or two customers in fact. And we do have a separate team which handles important customers. So there is a very focused approach. We educate them on time to time, not just in front of, uh, I mean, in terms of the technology innovations, not just in terms of the best practices, uh, what we have been doing in the past, but also in terms of the supply chain issues which might come in the future, or also in terms of the pricing issues which might come in the future. So we keep educating them. We work very closely like partners. And that's something which makes us differentiated as compared to any other player uh, in the industry right now. So there is a very clean and neat focused approach which we do for all our key customers. So definitely uh, the company is making its footprints in India. So how does uh, Longi differentiate itself with the intense competition in Indian markets? Yeah, that's a very good question because Longi has been known as the most expensive product prior to probably 2019 when we didn't have a localized team here. But we believe the fact that it's not the cost of the product which ultimately matters. It's the cost of the entire solution what we give on a long run matters a lot. So our product is known for giving better LCOEs. I think we have been educating right practices to all our customers. Of course, they are better in terms of designing, they're better in terms of understanding, but being a module manufacturer, I think we also know a few things which can make their projects better. So we have been working very closely with few top developers in India and across the globe, in fact. We have been sharing our right practices or the best practices across uh, the table. We have been educating them in terms of the market scenarios. We have been educating in terms of the upcoming products, the upcoming technologies. And that's when I think closely working with a dedicated team from India makes a big difference. And that's something which really makes us apart from anyone else. So this is something which we have been working for past two, two and a half years. And that has given us an edge, uh, especially when it comes to the intense competition right now. So what is the roadmap for the company in the near future? Okay. So being a technology driven company, I think we have been focusing majorly on the technology improvements. Initially, we had the HIMO 4 series and then we rolled out the HIMO 5 series. And now HIMO 5 series might be further upgraded to the new technology because right now it is a P type. Now upcoming trend might be N type or even HJT. So there are a lot of research going on in terms of our R&D because we do have a big team there. And that's something which we keep doing in terms of improving our own cell efficiencies, improving our own module efficiencies, because again, we are totally vertically integrated. So that's something which we do on a continuous basis. But now, apart from that, if you're asking, we are working extensively on our next generation module as well, because we have seen that the current P-type technology has almost reached the saturation level of optimization. But then our focus probably would be on the new technologies in the coming days. So very soon we might roll out our new product as well to the Indian market and across the globe, in fact. And we will continue to invest on R&D because uh, that's something which is giving an edge as compared to uh, any competition. And to become a truly global manufacturing company, uh, I think it's not just about supplying across the globe, but we also do believe that manufacturing also has to take place across the globe. That's when you will have a better reach in terms of the supply chain. That's when you have a better reach in terms of the customer service. So we do have factories already in countries apart from China, like Malaysia, like in Vietnam. We do have around 14 gigawatt of module manufacturing capacity in Vietnam. And we do have around four gigawatt of cell manufacturing capacity outside China as well. So if you ask me, I think the next step would be probably reaching out various countries where, which has a good potential and probably look forward for a local manufacturing setup there. Now this is about a short run kind of a plan, probably I can tell the next three to four years. But on a long run, if you see, I think Longi was the first Chinese company to uh, be a part of the 100 group of companies which signed an agreement for RE100, EV100, and EP100. I mean, these kind of initiatives. For example, the RE100, which means our company will completely use renewable energy up to 100% scale for our local operations. So these are some initiatives, I think, which 
on a whole uh, will make us uh, achieve the greener world and this is something which we have been committed to doing as well and we have been also signed for uh, science based uh, initiatives uh, technology based initiatives uh, in the past so we have committed for this i think we have been working hard for achieving the greener planet going forward i think uh, we have seen a lot of talks on hydrogen business as well so electrolyzers is something which we might come up very soon in a very massive scale even for india so there are multiple plans it's not just about modules i think it's about the entire uh, supply chain which might help us to achieve the energy independence so that's something we are working on so how important is the indian market for longi uh, in overall global perspective okay so just to cite an example probably for last year we have done around 3.8 gigawatt of supply and longi as a globe global number i think we reached around 38 gigawatt of supply now this itself shows that we have already reached around 10% of our global business so essentially we have seen in the past as well that india has huge plans for solar india has huge plans for green energy in total but again solar is a major contributor we have seen that there was a commitment of reaching 175 gigawatt of renewables by 2022 out of which 100 gigawatt is solar and it's almost practical now because we do have lot of projects which is already commissioned and uh, there are various projects which is already bid and under execution right now when the cumulative sum is almost like 100 gigawatt which essentially means that there is a primary focus for solar and there is a new long term plan of 2030 which we know that around 450 gigawatt of renewables has to be achieved now that is a new mission being set now that's something which is a very pleasant number for any leading manufacturer it's not just for longi i think the focus is already there we know that the india is a bigger market right now as compared to the days when it was in a very small scale we are already in the top 3 and it comes to the global solar market and we definitely will continue to grow so if you specifically ask me i think after chinese market indian market is on a prior focus right now so what do you see the key challenges uh, for the indian solar industry in a short term or in the long term both ways yeah so short term i'll make it very specific because past two to and a half years i think we have faced several challenges it's not just about the cost increase or decrease it's about the back end uh, supply chain as well wherein it started with the glass shortage in i think mid of 2020 it took almost like 7 to 8 months for the recovery slowly it is still having a, l- a little bit of crisis but uh, i think all the major module manufacturers have locked in their capacities so glass is a kind of sorted out right now glass issue but then the polysilicon issue started because the expected growth of polysilicon capacity adapt didn't happen uh, because of the recent increase in the market potential from european and latin american markets which is huge so such kind of supply chain issues will continue further until and unless we have our own facilities which can cater to the entire requirement but that's not practical as well because we cannot have everything in our basket so we need to focus particularly on a few things which is really important for us like polysilicon wafer cells and all so these are short term challenges adding to that i think we also had lot of challenges in terms of policies local policies because gst is when the confusion started now gst has been increased and uh, of late we have seen that bcd has been imposed at 40% which uh, has made the entire business come to a standstill right now at the moment because 40% might not be feasible for the numbers which is already bid in the past and uh, such things will continue f- further i think uh, every year we have seen certain challenges and uh, every year we have also seen that india has recovered from such challenges the ultimate aim of or the intent of government is actually very nice because that's something which is making them probably push the indian manufacturers to increase their base here but uh, at the same time we need to see that hard and fast rule might not work so it has to be a gradual change which ha- happens but this is about the short term challenge but if you think on a long run uh, the challenges are slightly different because for any country which is developing i think the utility scale segment is uh, a focus right now same thing is happening with india but as the day goes on i think as year and year pass uh, what will happen is the utility segment might slightly get saturated and probably the rooftop and the cndi segment might start picking now that's when 
you will have multiple connections to the grid and that's when your grid stability will become a major challenge. I am sure the government is taking enough measures to cater that in terms of uh, maintaining the grid stability because that's something which is a major threat we feel because a lot of connections to the grid and a lot of different type of sources uh, in terms of power like you might also be having hydrogen storage backups and many other things coming up in picture. So you will have to have several technologies which will make sure that the stability of the grid is maintained. So on a long run, I believe this is a major challenge which might come up. So Longley is um, enjoying the market leader position in India and globally. How would you sustain that uh, globally and what are your plans for India? Well, that's a very interesting question. The leadership position always comes with just a simple word, hard work. So we will continue our hard work. I think we are very open in terms of uh, maintaining partnership, good partnerships in the sense. We are very selective in terms of having customer base. It's not that we go with everyone. So we do believe that whoever can understand our values, I think we will start or continue supporting them more. So hard work is the only way out. So we, we, we keep come, I mean, we keep uh, putting all our possible efforts. We build in new strategies to make sure that our clients are comfortable with us or probably they are also delighted because of our service. Now this is something which we will continue to do on a long run. And that we believe might be the sole reason for maintaining leadership position, nothing else. Indeed, the hard work and the good team is making Longi grow. Uh, thank you so much for sharing all this information with ET Energy World. Uh, it's a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, thank so you so much. much. It's a pleasure for me. Too. Thank you.